so we learned about the wave nature of sound and you understood that sound is a wave it's a longitudinal wave and it is a collection of compressions and rarefactions alternatively we need to discuss about the mathematics of uh, the compressions and rarefactions before going to that let us learn sound requires medium as i mentioned earlier sound doesn't travel in the vacuum but how can we tell how can we prove so to prove that let us take a small experiment it's a jar jar is filled with air and inside the jar you have electric bell connected to electric circuit one side of the jar is connected to a suction pump suction pump what is the functionality of suction pump this pump sucks the air takes the air from the jar to outside okay now the suction pump is not working and when the electric circuit is switched on then the bell starts ringing and you can hear the sound also the electric bell sound now the second step what we do using suction pump we slowly sucks the air inside the jar then if you observe carefully what happens the intensity of the sound decreases decreases gradually decreases decreases at, at one point of time you stop hearing but don't think that electric bell is stopped no i did not switch off the electric bell electric bell is on electric circuit is on bell is ringing you can see the vibration of the bell still you can't hear this is because there is no air in the jar so the simple experiment tells you that sound requires medium okay now coming to the different mediums generally we have three types of mediums solid medium liquid medium gaseous medium gas means air or any other gas you can take liquid means water milk kerosene anything solid wood plastic etc now the question is sound in which medium it travels faster of course it travels in all the medium solids liquids and gas but which medium travels faster okay to explain this before explaining this let me give you some values of the speed of sound in the three mediums okay now if you take gas in gas example air in air speed of sound we represent speed with the symbol v speed of sound is 330 meters per second some textbooks shows v equal to 340 meters per second also how it is possible of course sometimes we use 330 meters per second sometimes use 340 meters per second it is based on the temperature when the temperature increases speed of sound also increases in general we take speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second now coming to liquid in liquid take the example water in water around i'm not telling the exact value nobody knows exact value we will take the average values so around the value is 1500 meters per second see the speed of sound increase in water it's a surprising thing we, we think that speed of sound is greater in air now I, how i'm speaking in the room i'm speaking in the room and speaking in the air so my speed of sound is greater we feel no in water it is speed of sound is faster than air now one more surprising thing for you in solids for example take steel the speed of sound is 5000 meters per second 5000 in one second travels 5000 meters see how fast it is so if you see the order you can understand that solid in solid the speed of sound is greater than liquid is greater than gas so why in solids speed of sound is greater not in gas think about the molecular structure of solids liquids and gas going back to chemistry concepts in solids if you see all the molecules all the molecules are closely packed like this 
they are very closely packed in liquids the mark structure if you see the mark is a little far from each other but in gas the molecules are in random motion the distance between them is very large they fly in different different directions so as i told in the earlier sound is produced because of vibration of the particles vibration of the particles movement of the particles if you see the sound all the particles are closely packed if one particle start vibrating it is very easy to carry the vibration all the particles because very close so speed goes very fast speed of sound I mean sound goes very fast coming to liquid as the distance is little you know far so it takes some time to go from one particle to other particle that's why the speed of sound is little smaller than solid you see the gas the particles are very far from each other so it takes longer time to move from one particle to the other particle it take longer time to vibrate from one particle to the other particle that's the reason why in solids speed of sound is greater but if you want to increase the speed of sound in gas what you need to do just i have mentioned you you need to increase the temperature when you increase the temperature the particle starts vibrating very fast when the particle starts vibrating very fast sound also travels very fast in that way you can increase the speed of sound here in the gas or else in general speed of sound is greater in solids and if you see the order solid in solid speed of sound is greater and then liquid and then gas so gas speed of sound is less now we are going to discuss about the mathematics of sound so that is nothing but properties of sound five properties we are going to discuss amplitude loudness wavelength which is represented by symbol lambda frequency represented by f speed represented by v the three five properties we'll discuss now now see on the board a big wave has drawn on y axis have taken pressure or density density symbol is rho it's a greek letter rho density you can use the symbol small d also pressure or rho on y axis i have taken pressure p not maximum pressure minus p not small less pressure or minimum pressure o is the origin and x axis i have taken time okay now uh, see what happens amplitude what is amplitude amplitude defined as so i'm writing amplitude means it is the maximum maximum displacement maximum displacement of the wave maximum displacement of the wave that is the basic definition of amplitude so this is for any wave you can take maximum displacement coming to sound instead of displacement i replace with pressure so amplitude is the maximum pressure of the wave or amplitude maximum density of the wave now see the wave here so this is the amplitude maximum pressure of the wave or maximum density of the wave represented by a generally we use symbol a but you can use any symbol you want i can use p not here no problem so amplitude is the maximum displacement of the wave but for sound it is maximum pressure of the wave okay <clears throat> now if we take si unit if it is displacement displacement the unit is meters if it is pressure the unit is pascals okay that's the amplitude now what is the significance of amplitude the significance of amplitude depends on or uh, the significance of amplitude related to not depend related to loudness loudness see some people speak soft voice some people speak with loud voice suppose if you see if you look at me when watching this video when i say sound it's a soft sound sound louder sound so how do you differentiate soft sound louder sound graphically 
that is by using amplitude more the amplitude means more the loudness lesser the amplitude means lesser the loudness so loudness directly proportional to amplitude or i can say the perfect mathematical relationship is the loudness i is directly proportional to square of the amplitude i is also called intensity is one more physics word intensity or you can say loudness also it's the square of the amplitude more the amplitude more the loudness let me show you here i will uh, so i will show you the soft sound and loud sound using amplitude or the loudness also we can say see when i say soft sound soft sounds the pressure on a y axis time on x axis so when i say sound sound soft sound mean the two the waves are like this small amplitudes see this is very very small small amplitudes now if i say loud sound loud sound it will be like this you understand see how what is the amplitude now see here so here the amplitude is small the sort of soft sound here the amplitude is large loud sound how you can say the small amplitude it is less loudness more amplitude more loudness either the way you can say so that's how the amplitude and loudness are related the next come to the property called wavelength what is wavelength wavelength has got two definitions one definition going to tell you listen to me so this is crest sorry this is compression this is rarefaction compression rarefaction as i shown you earlier the representation of compression rarefaction with wave nature now this is what called the wavelength lambda or uh, this is also lambda now how do we define wavelength is the distance between two consecutive compressions consecutive means next to next consecutive next to next wavelength is the distance between two consecutive compressions or it is the distance between two consecutive rarefactions is how much distance is saying here you have the same distance here also so the definition of you can see on the board it is the distance between two consecutive compressions are two consecutive rare fractions this is wavelength lambda this is the correct definition but sometimes you can show in this way also see carefully this is one wave a b c a b c this is not compression C is a symbol here. A B C is a complete wave. When a wave travels a complete wave, then the distance travelled is also called wavelength. So this is also wavelength. Complete wave, wavelength. So the distance travelled by the wave, complete wave, wavelength. So the second definition also you can take, but this is the general definition. We agree. it is the distance between two consecutive compressions or consecutive rare fractions okay that's good now what is the si unit of wavelength see the name itself length the length is nothing but distance so the si unit is meters okay so the next one frequency what is frequency frequency tells the number of things done in a particular amount of time or the rate of amount of work is done in a particular amount of time so generally frequency is the number of vibrations per second number of vibrations per second a number of oscillations per second number of rotations per second so always frequency you are taking per second per time okay so let me write here so if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.